It's new product time. Yeah, we only have a couple new items, but they're they're awesome. They're really good. So they're, they're twice as good. Let's start off right away here. Uh, we saw this book announced, and we instantly ordered a bunch, and these are flying off the shelves. This is yes. Encyclopedia of Electronic Components by Charles Platt, who's probably written uh, one of the best modern books on uh, electronics, which is Make Electronics. I like this because it's you can actually learn a lot. It's kind of um, it's in a way it's kind of a reference book, but also yeah. you, can, you can page through it because you know there there's a lot to know about different kinds of capacitors and resistors and and relays and and um, if you already know a little bit about electronics and you just want to get some more breadth of knowledge and like of all the different types, this is a I think a good book to to read through and also keep handy. Also, if you're like what you know, there's going to be one on sensors and like it'll be a handy reference to know like what um, what uh, sensors can do what you know because there's there's so yeah. different. Temperature sensors, but they're all a little bit different, you know. Yeah. Like not their, they all they all have their own little, you know, peculiarities and 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 um, benefits. Yeah. So I like I like this because it's it kind of has it all together in one page instead of like going on the web and like searching. Yeah, I'll have to say, um, you know, I'm I'm definitely more on the digital side as far as how I like to consume uh, media. But there are times where I like catalogs and I like physical references. This is one where print really works well. I don't think print does well for everything, but this is one where it's very good to flip through, um, like the pocket ref. That's, that one's a little harder because you discover sometimes yeah. as you're flipping through. Anyways, uh, cool book, uh, great author uh, in our store. Uh, we got a bunch and then they sold out and then we got a bunch again. Uh, next up, uh, this is our uh, new four gigabyte SD card that comes uh, preloaded with uh, Raspbian. So one of the biggest requests we got from people is, look, that's a giant image. I download it, it's complicated to make my own SD card yeah. image, it never works out, can I just buy one from you guys? So uh, we have SD cards, um, we can duplicate uh, tons of them at a time, um, we verify each one, they're perfect, and uh, now we have them in the store, and uh, here's some lovely photos from Tech Eastern. Yeah, we have the micro slash SD, so you can use our little micro card reader. Yeah. But it also fits into a... Yeah, uh, someone was asking, the mini uh, arcade has code from the Linux kernel, and uh, could we add that to the Occidental release? We'll have to check out what code yeah, that is. Yeah, and if it's compatible, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, we'll see. We'll see yeah, what's we'll up. have our Occidentalist uh, release on SD cards soon. Um, we're doing our next update. Yeah, is this point three or we call this? It'll be point three. Point three. And uh, we have a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be putting in that. But for now, we're shipping the latest Raspbian on these uh, SD cards. Okay. Next up, this is all you. Next up, we have a, uh, a new fun breakout. This is for a compass accelerometer module. So we now have pretty much every kind of sensor you'd need um, to do like robotics and IMUs and stuff. Um, we were missing a compass, and this is a really nice compass. It's uh, fairly inexpensive, which is nice, but it's also really sensitive. Um, and you, it's a magnetometer, actually, not a compass. So it'll actually, what it does is it, it finds where in 3D space the, the strongest magnetic force is coming from. So if that's a magnet, it's a magnet, but if it's not a magnet, it's probably going to be uh, the Earth's no North Pole. And so you can use it to find out which way is magnetic north. And then the accelerometer is what you use to figure out what your tilt is because it can detect gravity. And so you can tell which way something's pointed because um, which way it's pointed will affect how you want to display which way is north. Yeah. This is fantastic for robotics if you're mm -hmm. doing a robot. Right? Like, yeah. this is kind of made for it. Well, you, it, it helps because, you know, a gyro will tell you which way you're tilting, and so on will tell you which way you're moving, and a compass will tell you which way you're heading. Yeah. So you actually do want to combine all three things together, so you can combine this with our gyro, and that makes it to, uh, you know, a, a three degree of freedom uh, sensor, which will tell you which way you're pointed, which way you're angled, and how fast you're moving. How sensitive is this compared to, a, like, a Hallfax sensor? Oh, half fix sensors are only on and off. This is will actually tell you degrees of of, uh, sense of, of magnetic force. Wow. Or magnetic uh, field. Okay. Sorry. Here's the the back of it. Yeah, and it's uh it's five volt safe, so you can use it with your microcontroller Arduino, or you can use it yeah. with a three volt controller. And we have some example code. <laughs> what what pin provides career direction? <laughs> That's funny. A little engineering joke there. That's funny. Um, next up, uh, our big product release of the uh, week. Times Square. It's a square. That tells time. That tells time. Yeah, so here's uh, some photos. This is our new DIY watch. Uh, we've been thinking about doing a DIY watch for a while. There's a, a few out there. Um, we wanted some specific things that we really liked, and there wasn't one out there that was like it. 
And so I wanted one that would fit the ladies. Yeah, one that was a little smaller. I'm a lady. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, it's a kit. You build it yourself. Um, it comes with a band, but everything is hackable and open source. And uh, it's just uh, an off-the-shelf band that we got. Um, you assemble it yourself. Uh, it comes with all these different pieces here that you can see, and it has lots of different modes. So we should probably do a demo. Yeah. But the whole uh, idea of the watch is to. Uh, hack it and uh, be able to uh, do lots of cool things. This isn't the only watch you've ever seen that where you can actually hack it. Like it's a DIY watch that you can actually hack it to do something because it has a big enough mm. display. Well, you have to do. Want to go over the overhead? Yeah. Okay, there we are. Um, so yeah, this is this is the watch that I use for the demo. So I'll just take it apart. So the band is silicone, and uh, it'll fit. You know, even a wrist as small as mine, and I have like a really small wrist. It has these little dots. <laughs> barely see it, but it has these uh, little divots in it and uh, a nice metal, um, what's it called? Clasp. Clasp, not clasp, you know, the watch thing. Um, so it's rubber, so you can uh, just, you stretch it to uh, take the board out. And that also makes it really comfy because it's a soft silicone. And uh, we have it in black, maybe in the future we'll have it in other colors. And then there's um, an acrylic back that you can put down and that sort of uh, makes it fit into the, um, silicone band and also um, in kind of this nice little display and, and it protects you from the electronics, the electronics it, um, from you. Although you can remove it. Sometimes I, I like to remove this and um, it's okay to have this touching your skin. It just some people might find it a little irritating. Um, and then this is a circuit board that you put together and so the electronics that you solder, you solder these electronics on first and here's a microcontroller that has, um, it's Arduino compatible, has Arduino bootloader built in. So this is Arduino power, one could say. It's, a, it's Arduino Arduino power. compatible. Yeah. Perhaps. It is compatible. Yeah. Um, and then there's an FTDI header here, so you can um, you can plug in your FTDI cable or friend and you can reprogram it. Uh, we have a real-time clock chip here. This is the 8-pin chip and there's a crystal that goes with it next to it. And um, the reason I went with a real-time clock is um, when we built the ice tube, I had the, the real-time clock capability handled by the, uh, the Atmega. One of the things I've noticed is that um, it works, but it doesn't work great. So like the ice tube does lose time a little faster than I would like. Um, and it does depend chip by chip, the, the, the internal capacitance affects the, the timing a little bit. So I didn't, I didn't think it was as precise as I would have liked it. And um, these RTCs are, are way better at that than the internal um, real time clock of the, uh, of the um, at mega chip and um, this is like a clock Duino board, perhaps. Clock Duino. Gonna put Duino at the end of everything. Um, <laughs> and uh, another thing is, it's really low power. So uh, we do have a tutorial we're gonna put out next week um, that Phil wrote on how he designed the code to make it ultra low power, since it can run yeah. for like six to months to a year, maybe. Um, just you know, it's it's on all the time, and then it only shows time when you press the button. Yeah. It's on, on off switch. Yeah, flip it over. Show the. Show oh, it. I will. I will. I'm just I'm just showing off everything. Oh, yeah. And then this is the battery. It runs off of a, a big coin cell battery, and these are really common coin cells, which I like. You can get these at any grocery store. Yeah. So if you you know press the button a couple hundred times and you run out, then you can yeah. uh, get another one. And uh, there's two buttons on either side, and then there's resistors, and the resistors are what. Uh, set the display brightness and so we want wow. to have a balance of brightness and battery life. So this this will last about 500 or so um, to 1,000 uh, displays. So, oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Yeah. So this is the, um, this is the display. It's not set to the right time. Yeah, I love showing it. I on, set the time. I love showing it on video because when we take photos, we actually have to show it kind of dim conditions, and yeah. then we have to overlay it on the the studio lighting. Uh, video uh, does a better job capturing yeah. um, the 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 brightness, and we put a note on the site about that, um, seeing so an idea of, of how it looks. It's very difficult to take photos. Uh, we have some really great photos that yeah. Becky and uh, Billy of John Janier helped out with. Yeah, I'm setting the time right now. What's the date? Today's the... Today's d December 1st. Oh, you know what? I, okay, I forgot it's not November. Okay, so let me set it to the time is uh, 10... Let's see... 4... Yeah, I love the little animations. Yeah, isn't that cute? Yeah. Let me say 43... And I'll set it to 12, 12 hour mode. Yeah. And now I'm gonna the Zoom. Yeah, at least. Um, one of the po one of the questions that f folks are asking, of course, is will we have other colors? And is it possible to use other colors on this one? Um, you can, but we um, we we are gonna have other colors available. Sorry, hold on. I can just set the time. Zero. 
Okay, now I set the time. Now I press the both buttons to set the time. Okay. Look at so that. Now, now it's correct. I didn't set the time. That's why it was like, I thought it was November still. Um, the, right now we're only doing red. Red will probably look the brightest and best because it's the red LED matrices always are the brightest. But we'll, we're going to get um, yellow, green, blue, and white matrices and try them out, and then hopefully we'll offer them if they if they work and they have battery life. I yeah. want to make sure that it um, looks good. So, yeah, here's the here's the time. Yeah. So yeah, every time you press it, and then if you press it fast, well, yeah, and then let me see if I can uh, set that off. I have to watch it. Yeah, so let's hear some more photos of it. And uh, there's all sorts of neat hacks that you can do if you want to put Sugru on it. Um, we're going to have a 3D printed case for it. Um, we're going to put all the files up for on Thingiverse so you can make your, your own watch band. All sorts of uh, fun things. Uh, we like the idea of maybe doing workshops with these. Um, it's uh, very fun and easy to hack and have it do other stuff, display other things. It can be used for all sorts of different projects too, just it doesn't have to be a watch. Yeah, so this is also, uh, there's a battery meter built in. Oh, that's well, super cute. Fortunately, this is my demo one, so I've been using a lot of the batteries dying. So it detects how much battery life? This is the moon phase. Oh, wow. It's a full moon, so it looks full. You can sort of see it's it's kind of going into a, it's waning. And then this is the binary watch. So um, it sort of displays the binary time. And this is seconds, minutes, and then binary hours. I don't know, I'm not that good at reading. Can, these are like... 4 plus 2, 10, and then 1 plus 4, or 8, I don't know. I can't even buy it off the top of my head. But so there's a couple of different displays um, that are available, and then of course you can write your code to... Uh, yeah, and folks want to know, uh, who is the uh, amazing dragon behind the, the code? This is Paint Your Dragon Dragon. Yeah, but for a guest who's uh, always in the chat usually, and uh, also um, his handiwork was on the um, Piccolo. Yeah. So lots, lots of, of uh, he likes blinky stuff. Blinky. Um, so yeah, when, when you're done, you can uh, back in the uh, watch band. And then someone wanted to know, uh, does it have a serial port? It uh, has an FPDI um, connection, so it's basically yeah, it's TTL serial if you want to. Yeah. Have that. And so um, what we decided to do is uh, kind of build the watch around um, easy, easily available for us uh, watch band. So these are ones that um, we could get them, uh, a lot of them. And so uh, that doesn't mean you have to use it, though. We want people to make their own bands, of course, yeah. and do stuff. Anyways, okay. isn't that fun? That's a cool project. Yeah. We have lots of fun wearables now. OK. And then uh, last up, uh, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was new products.